Hi, Scentsy friends. It's Andrea, your independent Scentsy consultant, coming to you from my basement um, in my office. I have a very full leather line bin for you guys. I feel like it's been about a week, but maybe it's been a little longer. I don't know. I can't. What even are days anyway? Um, I am warming a pretty cool mixture in my basement right now, and it smells delightful already. And I can only imagine, I just put it in. But it's Chase Rainbow's Yellow and Strawberry Lemon Cake, which is currently available. So Strawberry Lemon Cake, which I feel like you could also mix for a similar result with Squeeze the Day, is Fresh Strawberries Lemon Zest Vanilla Buttercream. And I'm going to get my here in my basement. I have a little, a little orange kitty. There he is. Uh, behind me. Chase Rainbow's Yellow is mixed with strawberry lemon cake, lemonade, grapefruit, and pineapple. It's so good. This has had a year to cure. I know it's not a sun. It has a year to cure, so it is stronger than it was when it first came out. It is even better than before. Love it. Um, currently on my baby's backpack is the Stitch Buddy Clip that is dressed up as the Easter Bunny, scented in Experiment 626. Love that. I did have to replace a 25 watt light bulb. It burnt out in one of my warmers upstairs. I love that they're putting, I know it's backwards, I, I love that they're putting the wattage on the light bulb box now. It makes it so much easier to tell when, when you've got a, like what the wattage is. I don't know, it's so much easier. A laundry liquid in black raspberry vanilla. Got through that. All right, and then let's see. We've got a um, pod two pack. This one, the outside says Happy Holly Days, which is actually what's going in my car right now, which is weird because I'm usually pretty seasonal. But the two pods inside are Dancing Sugar Plums and Saddle Up. The rest is just wax, I think. Let's just get into it. Squeeze a day. I warmed this in my family room. It says, pucker up, lemon lovers. You've officially found your signature scent in this tart and true fragrance of pure lemons balanced by a hint of vanilla cream. This is like, it's such a great scent. It's so wonderful. Did I say I warmed it in my family room? I'm pretty sure I warmed it in my family room. Strawberry swirl. This was a bring back my bar. It was originally a scent of the month in July of 2016. I like it. It's fresh, it's frozen strawberries, frothy milk, and vanilla. I warmed this in my family room, and I was warming something delightful in my kitchen at the same time. Let's see, what was I warming in my kitchen when I was warming? Strawberry swirl. Was it Cotton Candy Tails? I think it was Cotton Candy Tails. So I think my family and my kitchen are open to each other. And I think I warmed strawberry swirls and Cotton Candy Tails together. And it was delightful. Yes. So Cotton Candy Tails is wild strawberry hops into a fluffy fantasy of creamy caramel and sh sweet spun sugar. If you have a bar of strawberry swirl floating around, it totally helps like bring out some more of that strawberry. So good. Um, basement, tiari and coconut. Is this also basement? Basement, tiari coconut. Silky tiari flower. And coconut. Something in sparkling, the breathtaking, sparkling citrus sunset. Tiari and coconut. So I got two, two bars of that. Got their bar of candy orchard. In my entrance, a cloud of sweet of spun sugar mixes with sweet raspberry and warm vanilla in a candy coated fantasy. Breakfast in bed. Did I get two? two? I did. So I warm this in the basement as well. Warm. Oh gosh, it's so hard to read sometimes when the when the oils are like gooey. Warm pumpkin pastry, black raspberry filling, sweet cinnamon drizzle. So these two were in the basement. I love this scent. It's in my club. 
maybe it's not in my club anymore. I've really been editing my club a lot. This one may have gotten the boot, which I would need to check on because I have not, I've been going through it and not paying attention. I definitely don't want to like just use it all up just to use it up. Um, two bars of frosted vanilla. I warmed it in two different places. In the bedroom and the family room. It is vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. I warmed it on two separate occasions. Mango matcha. I warmed this in my entrance. A mix of orange nectar and matcha sorbet topped with a slice of cucumber and a dash of pure sugar cane. There's no mango in the notes, which is weird, but there's definitely mango in that scent. Zeppelin. Warm this in my bedroom. Citrus, sage, herbaceous vetiver, and earthy sandalwood. In the kitchen, I warmed the vanilla waves, sea salt, and whipped caramel. Or sorry, whipped vanilla. Crash into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. King cake. Warmed this in my kitchen. A sweet crust of cinnamon and brown sugar coated with silky, sorry, notes of golden butter. It's really hard to read your own handwriting sometimes. And like it kind of like the oils kind of smear it and so it like becomes this whole thing where it's super hard to read. I like king cake. It reminds me of like a more cinnamon sugar forward um, almond croissant. Alright, tiara and coconut again. So this is the third bar from the Island Days collection. I warm this in my entrance. Silky tiara flower and coconut. Enjoy enjoy a breathtaking citrus sunset. Sorry, the, the other ones were gooier. Fuzzy blanket. Oh, goodness, sorry. It has been a week. Uh, I warm this in my bedroom. This is from the June 2023. Bring back my bar. It's lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. And I'm twitching right there. Can you see that? It's like twitching. Okay. So this is like super sweet and like a little bit. It's so crazy. I'm sorry. Um, it's super sweet and um, kind of like a little bit perfumey. But it's perfect for the bedroom. And then last but not least, cranberry and cardamom. I warm this in my family room. Um, bold cherry and white cranberry mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. I feel like this could be a year-round scent. I do have a story about this one. So I ran out of cotton cleanups. And so I was turning off my warmers and letting the wax get like, like kind of soft. And I guess I cleaned out the... Um, the element warmer that I had in my family room and then didn't realize that it wasn't turned on and so I put the cubes in there and of course they did not melt because the warmer wasn't turned on and so then when I noticed that I was ready to change the wax and I was like well shoot now what do I do because I don't want to like change the wax and these cubes have literally not done anything and so I stuck them in my garage warmer and shut the door and our garage is like notoriously stinky like we have a baby in diapers we have a dog who we put his like poop bags outside in the garage and stuff so like our garage is like a real stinky place and like our trash cans live there and um so anyway I had I put this in the in the garage warmer and it's just like a mini warmer plugged into the wall and Annalise who's our 21 year old daughter came in um through the garage after a run and she was like it smells really good in there and I was like it does and she was like yeah and so I went out there and I was like sniffing and I was like oh my gosh I forgot that I put the two cubes of cranberry and cardamom that did not melt in the family room out there and, um, and that's what she was smelling. I was like, does it smell like fruity? And she was like, yeah, it smells fruity out there. And I was like, okay, well that's awesome. So anyway, this one was new this fall and winter it is obviously discontinued. I did not add it to my club. I'm hoping it comes back. I'm kind of counting on it coming back. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, 
So that is what I've been warming. Those are my Scentsy empties. Um, I'll be making my March, like, order soon. My March party closeout or whatever soon. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm really excited to get the, um, but first coffee warmer. But I've just been, like, super kind of, like, busy. Sorry. Super busy. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned this in any of my previous videos yet, but we're making a documentary about my nonprofit. So Sarah's Acts of Kindness will be, uh, in a documentary, which is fine. That's not like stressful or whatever. Um, it's just is what it is. But then I, you know, I work full time and we had an event Saturday, um, for the nonprofit. And then we did a recording, so we recorded for like three hours of footage for the documentary after our event on Saturday. And then I had doctor's appointment today. Um, so I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm writing a book. It's like, it's not a big deal. I'm not even close to being done or whatever. But like, you know, it's just like the garden, the kids, like there's just like a lot of things kind of like all happening. And I think I'm just tired from the time change. It's just a lot. Anyway, so I've still been warming. I haven't been recording very much, but that's, you know, par for the course, I think, here. Because um, <laughs> I have 9,000 things happening at once all the time. And so recording is kind of like low priority. Um, but I'm still warming and I'm still getting through stuff. And I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. And I will be uh, hauling soon, hopefully. Hopefully, I will have a chance to sit down and make that order oh gosh yeah so now I'm gonna crawl on the floor and pick up all that stuff uh, it's the story of my life guys anyway I hope everyone's having a fantastic week I hope you are all doing great I hope you guys are getting and warming and enjoying all of the sensi and I will talk to you soon bye guys